The new iPad Pro is more powerful, it has a bigger 10.5 inch display, and it has iOS 11 that'll be coming this fall that'll give you a whole new way to access your files and also do things like drag and drop. I'm gonna give you a quick demo right now. So you're in the email, okay. This is the doc, yep. add in another app. Right, so this is a slide overview. Yep. This is my photos app. Now I can position that wherever I want. So if I want it on this side, I can do that. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do now is add it into uh, split screen mode. Yep. Right. So now I can sort of adjust how big I want each app to be. Right. So let's say I'm going through my shots. And let's say I want to select a shot. And I'm going to copy that. Type, type, type. And then you can bring that in. Bring that into an email. Type an address and say. That's great. And then, you can go back and forth what about the new app launcher or like the app switcher? How does that work? So oh, okay. you see that the, it's almost like spaces. You know? So right. that, that split screen that we just created with photos and mail mm -hmm. becomes the most recent screen, if you will, or right. the, uh, space that I. Created. And that's the new control center over on the right. New control center. Mm -hmm. so, and you can add more apps to the bottom of the dock yeah, if you, you want to. You can have a 10 over on this side, right. and then you get three here, and the three here are kind of the most recently used apps. Okay. So yeah. the other highlights include a 7 megapixel camera on the front, right. the 12 megapixel camera on the back. Can we see the back real quick? Yeah. Um, which is the same that you'll find on the iPhone 7. Uh, and you're targeting 10 hours of battery life despite the fact that you're getting between 30 and 40 percent more performance from the A10X chip, right? And it'll start at, with 64 gigs of storage for 649. Um, so that's double the storage from before. Um, so this is just a quick look at the iPad Pro, which will be available starting next week, and iOS 11 will be available this fall. This is Mark Spoonauer with Laptop Mag.